I was in Detroit one night and I was preaching on the existence of God and I made a statement that God came from nowhere and after the service a man came up to me and he said preacher let's be reasonable about this you were up there tonight talking about God came from nowhere that doesn't make any sense let's be reasonable about this I said all right if you just want to be reasonable about it, the reason God came from nowhere, there wasn't anywhere for him to come from. And coming from nowhere, he stood on nothing. And the reason he had to stand on nothing, there was nowhere for him to stand. And standing on nothing, he reached out where there was nowhere to reach and caught something when there was nothing to catch and hung something on nothing and told it to stay there. Now you'll find that in Job 26, 7, that he hung this world on nothing. Now the same God that's able to turn nothing into something is the same God that's able to take a good for nothing nobody and turn him into somebody to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. He's the same God that can make a sick man well, a ignorant man wise, a bad man good, a good man better, and even a dead man alive in Jesus Christ. So my question tonight is, do you know him? Now don't, don't fool me now because if you don't know him, let me tell you about him. Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and He came down the stairways of heaven and was born in Bethlehem, in Egypt, brought up in Nazareth, baptized in Jordan, and tempted in the wilderness. He performed miracles by the roadside. He took your sins and my sins and went out on Calvary and there died. And while hanging on that cross, Jesus says several things. But when the thief taunted him and said, If you be the Christ, come down from the cross and save yourself and us. To that taunt, Jesus never said a mumbling word. But the silence seemed to have said, You just wait until Sunday morning. I'll show you that it's better to come up from a grave than to come down from a cross. Then he committed his spirit unto the Father dropped his head into the locks of his shoulder, and then died. I mean, he really died. No believe for school theory. He died. He died until the sun refused to shine. He died until the earth quaked and the rocks rent. He died.